Okay, today we're going to take a look at the Force Awakens Smuggler's Bounty Box. Uh, we've been anxiously awaiting this one. We're, we're part of the Marvel Collector's Box, and while Villains was a bit of a letdown, overall we've been very happy with it. So, we've anxiously been awaiting this one. We've already looked through it. Um, we're really just going to open it up, look at all the pieces, and um, just talk about whether we like them, the quality of the pieces, the things that come in it. Like the Marvel first thing you get, you get a little pin, and you get a badge. I think these are really neat. My only problem is where to store them. What, we still haven't done much with our Marvel pins, and we've gotten like four boxes. Um, and this one you get a Kylo Ren pin. So that's kind of cool. And a TIE Fighter badge that says first order Kylo Ren's first order so again really neat but I don't know what to do with them um, they kind of give you an answer right in the beginning here they give you a little lanyard and what we used to do with these at, at a place I used to work so they used to give us these these cheap little pins for motivation or, or whatever we'd always attach them to our lanyard so that might be what they're trying to do here, giving people a makeshift way to store the pins. Just attach them to the lanyard. And then you can hang the lanyard wherever you want. Um, still doesn't necessarily let us know what to do with these. I've been tempted to get a display case for metals yep, and I, mount both of them side I, by side. I definitely want to do something with them. I don't want them to go to waste. They're very nice. I'm just I don't I don't wear jean jackets anymore, so they're not really gonna they're it's not, not really. And then the T-shirt, as always, is really nice. In this instance, it's it's a Kylo Ren shirt. Uh, I've seen in other videos people have gotten uh, stormtroopers. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any others, but I've seen Kylo Ren and I've seen stormtroopers. Uh, it says Force Awakens, Kylo Ren, obviously. Uh, it's a really nice fabric. And and the image is is really nice. It doesn't seem like it's going anywhere. It's, it's well printed on there. We haven't washed it yet, but we've washed all the Marvel t-shirts and never had a problem with fading or anything. Um, so the t-shirt, the these come out, if you get the yearly subscription, it comes out to about $30 a box. And honestly, you, you get almost that with the t-shirt. It, it's almost entirely worth it just, just for that. Um, these are made by Pop Tees. So they're Funko exclusives. Um, officially licensed by Star Wars. So yeah, no, I, I really dig the t-shirts. And I really, you know, it's, it's a little kitty. It, it's, it's a little uh, Amiibo or Ami Call Me or, or, or whatever. Uh, but it's still pretty neat. Um... And I, I think it'll appeal to a larger audience, uh, perhaps, than, than if it was like a hardcore. And I have my own hardcore shirts that I get from Ripped or wherever. Uh, then we get in. We knew we were getting a Chrome Captain Phasma. They announced that early. I wasn't sure if she was going to be an extra or what, uh, but she's just one of the two you get. Uh, let's see if I can open her here so we can get a good look at her. And again, this is, I'm pretty sure all these are exclusives. Yeah, it's, it even says right on the thing here, if you get the box, Smuggler's Bounty exclusive. So you won't find this in Walmart or um, Hot Topic or whatever. And it, it's pretty good quality. It's very reflective. I don't know how well that'll come across in the video, uh, but the chrome is very chromey. Um, and it's got a good bobblehead effect. The cape is a nice solid plastic. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't really have any complaints about the Captain Phasma. She's bound to be a Boba Fett level character once the movie comes out. Um, I think a lot of people are really gonna gonna dig her character. Um, I know one of the four geeks in the Four Geeks Gaming is already a huge fan. Um, she's a big Stormtrooper fan, so anything Stormtrooper related. 
and them getting a badass leader finally after, you know, it's only been 40 years, so. Um, so yeah, Captain Phasma gets a thumbs up for me. Now the second one, and we can move the box out of the way, uh, is number 89. There's also a 90. So you've got two different potential pilots you can get. Uh, there's one with and one without red stripes. The one we got is without. Um, so that's another kind of cool thing. You don't get a lot of randomization in the Marvel boxes. From what I've seen, what one person gets, everybody gets. In that in that first box, they had the four different t-shirts. But you haven't had a lot of randomization since then. Everything's kind of, kind of flat, and it is what it is. Um, so again... Get the nice Funko bobblehead effect. Um, it's a little muted on this one because he's got the the chest piece as part of his helmet. And he just fell apart. Um, but it looks like that's fine because it looks like they're designed to come apart. They got little pegs. Um, so yeah, he just pops back on. Uh, the bobblehead effect is muted. It is not as prominent. Um, you know, you, you can go crazy with Phasma and the bobblehead effect. Uh, you're not going to get that with the TIE Fighter pilot because, again, the chess piece is connected there. But I think he's really neat looking. Um, I wish we'd gotten the one with the red stripes just because this is a little plain. But I'm not going to argue. I mean, it's just red stripes. Um, and again, I, we you're going to spend $30 for the box, roughly. You're going to get two Funko. You're going to get the pin and the, the thing. And this is a little extra which I think they put in just to have a place to put the pins. And then the t-shirt. You know, so this t-shirt figure, if you got this on T-Fury or, or Ripped or something, you spend 15 I think, suggesting low. You know, you might pay up to 25 but say 15 And then these are each 15 uh, if they were regular Funkos. But they're, since they're exclusives, you might be able to double that. So you're looking at between... $45 to $90 um, in, in quality stuff. Even if you go low, $45, you're getting $15 more plus the little extras. So if you haven't invested in this and you are a Star Wars fan and you like Funkos and you like t-shirts, I, I I can't recommend the the, uh, the Funko exclusives, the Marvel and the Star Wars enough. Um, I, I haven't really been disappointed with any of them. And I've been way more consistently happy than I was with Loot Crate. Uh, Loot Crate fell fast for us and never recovered. But we've now got a total of five boxes, four Marvel, one Star Wars. And uh, we have everything on display. Every, every Funko uh, we got from every one of those boxes is, in, is on display somewhere in this room. So yeah, nope, it definitely gets a thumbs up for me. The... the inaugural box for Star Wars gets a double thumbs up. We didn't get anything cool like we did with the Marvel with the uh, Hulkbuster Iron Man and I was really hoping for a Kylo Ren Funko uh, but those are nitpicks. Overall I'm very happy like I said you know you're probably averaging a $60 value so good job for me. Alright thank you for watching. If you liked it, learned something, enjoyed it give me a like, give me a subscribe and we'll talk to you later.